Today I'm at the Homey Hobbies headquarters in Margate where the firm is about to reveal its 2020 range of exciting models. Let's pop through there and take a look. This year is Hornby's centenary year and the firm are promising something momentous. Coming up, a journey into the unknown, a trip down memory lane, sneak previews of the 2020 range and an exciting new app-based analog controller. Over to Callum Wilcox who has the details. Highlights in this year's range include a selection of commemorative products celebrating each decade of Hornby for its 100 year history. These products feature up to date remakes of classic models and sets in packaging depicting the period. Looking to the future, Hornby's announced a multitude of new tooling, including the iconic Stevenson's Rocket, Intercity APT. Thompson A2-2s and A2-3s, British Rail Standard 2MT-260s, British Rail Class 91s, British Rail Mark I RBs, Coronation Scott Coaches, and the unique LNER Class W1 Hush Hush, depicting all major forms carried through a service career. As well as new tooling, there's also a plethora of new and exciting liveries spanning the entire range, including Steam Mirror, Modern Traction, Coaching Stock, and Goods Vehicles. Another new development is an app-based analog control system featuring control for up to eight circuits along with adjustable inertia and built-in sound functions. George from Hornby takes us through just some of the functions of this new system. As you can see one of our locomotives there on the, lo the large oval which is the Terrier over there. You know, I can slow down. Of course I put inertia on it as well which means it decelerates at a certain rate and it accelerates it's nice and slowly as well, which has never been seen before on a Hornby analog system. So we can play sounds as well. Another thing as well, if a cat jumps on the layout or you know you spill something or someone's at the door, you can emergency stop the whole system. Now, you can actually change some of the settings in there. For example, you know, I'm gonna swap it. So on our large oval, the terrier's gonna swap direction and then we resume it. You see it takes the inertia into control as well. And it moves the locomotive. Um, we've also got a brake button as well, so you can, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put this right up the terrier so it's nice and fast at the moment. And I will turn off the inertia just for this demo. And then we can brake and in increments, which get smaller and smaller, the terrier can come to a halt. Yeah. Get it moving again. And then also at the moment we've got a, um, for the demo, we've got a auxiliary control system. So we've got all of the points, so we've got, um, you know, 6010, uh, which is one of those units, and then we've got channel ABC, so obviously four accessories, and then we've got open close, and we've got lights over there, see red light go, green light. Um, we've got channel C over there, which is another point, and you flick it, open, close, and then that's that. We asked Hornby Marketing and Developments Director Simon Kohler if there's room on the market for this new system. Um, I'm very confident that the HM6000 does have room. Now, it's room in our brand, really. You know, we have to move on, we have to show progression, we have to show technology at its best. Now, as I've said earlier, if I can be in the middle of the US and switch the heating off at home, some 6,000 miles away or whatever, then I should be able to be, have the ability to control a train using my phone. Everything, believe me, within probably 
two years, everything you'll be doing on your phone. You can, you can book tickets, you can pay for your car parking. You, so much you can do on your phone. So why can I not control the train with my phone? I will be able to in very short order. One of the biggest surprises in the range is the announcement of a new steampunk railway system under the Bassett Loke brand. The range will feature a selection of locomotives, rolling stock, figures and buildings aimed at the sci-fi market. We asked Simon what Hornby hopes to achieve with this new line of products. It's really hoping to uh, attract a different clientele, new clientele, new people, um, which will then lead to hopefully moving on to the model railway hobby. But it, 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 it's tapping into that sort of genre, that people who like to um, look at things maybe differently, it's their hobby, it's their passion, it's like, you know, Comic Con and things like that. With such an ambitious year of releases, we asked Simon if Hornby would be able to deliver in light of recent supply issues. The, the answer to that is we believe we will. You cannot budget for the unexpected, I'm afraid. Um, yes, we have had issues with, the, with at least one of our suppliers. Uh, we have placed tools uh, with uh, suppliers who we know have a good track record for hitting the time, hitting the right price. Um, so, yeah, we, we are confident, but what I will stress, and I've always stressed this, I will never ever chase a date for the detriment of a product. You know, I would rather be a few months late than on time and it's wrong, because that will kill a product stone dead. Read our full Hornby 2020 range report in the February 2020 issue of Railway Modeler, on sale from January the 9th.